is no coincidence that I'm wearing the shirt of this man. Can you see this man here? Yes, Papa. How many know this man? How many know this man? If you're watching at home, do you know this man? What is his name? Prophet TV Joshua. I'm not ashamed of the people that have impacted me in my life one way or the other. It is a quality that has enabled me to grow as an individual. Welcome again to this wonderful episode of today. I've been talking about so many times uh, about people who will come. There are two episodes majorly, mainly to be precise, that are talked about in time that is coming is around around two to three months down the line that many people will come i spoke prophetically i was not really even aware what i was speaking about but now i can uh, come out and say this thing is coming to be a reality that many men of god in nigeria in south africa and in the parts of central south africa they will come and reckon with scorn after a series of wars and wars, it will be a marking time of glory. And right now, as we are talking, you can testify on yourself, on behalf of all of us, that there are men of God that are now rising up to speak on behalf of Squan. Now, the war is no more. It is celebration and appreciation. The crown is coming out. Now, Prophet Ed Branson is a son of... Uh, uh, Hubert Angel and uh, the group of Bushiri and um, uh, and uh, the rest around that area. I don't want to get into that in details. Uh, you can s uh, find yourself in it and uh, specify where and which it belongs to, uh, how A, B, C, D, blah, blah, as much as. For this episode, I wanted to specify on one moment. Prophet Ed Branson now comes out to appreciate Prophet T.B. Joshua and Mom Evelyn of standing in the garden. How many know this man? How many know this man? If you're watching at home, do you know this man? What is his name? Prophet T.B. Joshua. I'm not ashamed of the people that have impacted me in my life one way or the other. It is a quality that has enabled me to grow as an individual. Many of us, when we think we are at the top, we tend to look down on our beginnings. Because it is the receiver who remembers more than the giver. Hallelujah. Amen. So you remember this man? Yes. Is he alive? Is he alive? No, Papa. Where is he? Hallelujah. It was shocking. You even assumed that they are playing a prank. You even said don't talk with things like that. Because in your mind, you never assumed that such an individual can die just like that. But the reality is that they died. And when they died, we all shook and said, wow, such a great man is gone. How are we going to move? It's a year now, over a year. The man has been gone. Do you know that? It's over now a year, if we're not almost getting to two years, if not. And rhetorically and with precise, real, intentional speech, he says, after TB Joshua, Squan is still moving on. Squan is still building in miracles. Squan is still seeing manifestation and deliverances. Squan is still experiencing healing. Squan is still experiencing the powerful hand of leadership under Mami Evelyn the man Joshua. has been gone. But guess what? Life is moving. The synagogue church is thriving. 
people are still being healed demons are still manifesting miracles are happening and yet he is gone Timothy Kravtobo and this is Blevoy we handle your spirituality economic and social matters see you in the next episodes that are coming